ever wondered why we have only eight planets in our solar system, not nine? You see, we once lived in a cosmos where Pluto, the little celestial body at the edge of our solar system, proudly bore the title of the ninth planet. This was our understanding of the universe for much of the 20th century. However, this seemingly simple understanding was complicated by the very nature of science itself, which constantly seeks to refine our grasp of the world, or in this case, the universe around us. Enter the International Astronomical Union, the governing body that, among other things, is responsible for classifying celestial bodies. They set the rules that dictate what can and cannot be considered a planet. The IA used definitions and classifications are a critical part of our collective understanding of space. This brings us to the question, what happened to Pluto? Why did it lose its status as a planet? To understand Pluto's fate, we need to delve into the criteria for a celestial body to be classified as a planet. The International Astronomical Union, the authority on such matters, stipulates three criteria. First, the object must orbit the Sun, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, you name it, they all revolve around the Sun. Second, the object must be spherical in shape. This is due to its own gravity pulling all mass into a spherical shape, much like how a baker kneads dough into a ball. Lastly, and perhaps most contentiously, the object must have cleared its orbit of other debris. This means it must be the dominant gravitational force in its orbit, much like a schoolyard bully who commands the playground. Each planet in our solar system, from Mercury to Neptune, meets these criteria. So, where does Pluto stand with these criteria? Pluto, the once ninth planet of our solar system, found itself in a peculiar situation. Having met the first two criteria for planet classification, orbiting the Sun and being spherical in shape, it stumbled upon the third, clearing its orbit of other debris. Now, this is where our story takes an interesting turn. Imagine a vast region of space beyond the orbit of Neptune, filled with icy bodies and comets. This is the Kuiper Belt, and this is where Pluto resides. Rather than being the solitary ruler of its orbit, it shares its space with countless other objects in this celestial neighborhood. This scenario contradicts the third criterion, which demands a planet to be the dominant gravitational force in its orbit. So, in the grand cosmic theater, despite its charm and historical status, Pluto found itself demoted. And thus, in 2006, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet, a decision that still sparks debates among space enthusiasts. So, there you have it. The mystery behind Pluto's reclassification. We've delved into the intricate criteria for planet classification and Pluto's unique status as a dwarf planet. Whether you agree with this decision or not, one thing is for certain. The universe is a fascinating place constantly challenging our understanding and sparking our curiosity.